All right, guys, welcome back. Today, today we're gonna to be playing a game called Ghost of Tomorrow. So this is a game about time traveling with a bit of paranormal activity in which the protagonist gets a glimpse of how they died in the future. So essentially this game is tight hallways from what I can see right here. And based on the description is going to be the perfect recipe for disaster. I'm going to be honest. I rather be playing Kana, the bridge of spirits right now, but we got to do what we got to do. And we need a little bit of dose of horror. All right, guys, let's do this. Hi, Amanda. How's college? Hey, mom. It's great. How's your roommate, Gail? He seemed a bit strange when I met him. I don't like you sharing an apartment with that stranger, you know. He's fine, mom. We get along really well. We even take some classes together. I gotta go. Gonna drive to my apartment. Bye. Okay, drive safe. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> well, you gotta be swerving on the road like that. All right, so we're driving home. Interesting. I don't think I can actually drive in this game. So that's another thing I don't have to worry about. So that's good. Although I don't really know who gave this woman a license, but she ain't driving too hot. Okay, you drive like that down here, you're gonna get pulled over. New voice message received from Gail. Oh, it's Gail. All right, hold on. Give me a sec here. All right, Gail. How do I? Playing voice message from Gail. Hey, Amanda. I was thinking maybe we should get together on the weekend to study for Monday's exam. I don't know. I was thinking maybe we could go to a coffee place and... flashlight in flashlight history I want to know the manufacturer to this flashlight right now this is hot garbage oh why is there two shadows is that normal I don't know I'm not some sort of shadow expert what do I know so let me ask you what is the point of us actually getting out of the car when there's nobody here what is the point of that oh fancy okay this actually looks pretty good okay i'm not gonna lie it, it kind of looked pretty trash at first but this is actually looking pretty decent <laughs> okay respect this looks pretty good now you've got my attention i wonder if i can open up any of the cars so we are playing as a girl by the name of amanda indeed got a camera here we've got the elevator we're going upstairs always go upstairs never ever go downstairs we don't want to be downstairs Okay, hold on. All right, all right. Let's just relax. Okay, there's no need to turn off the fucking lights right now, okay? I mean, come on. Really, really, really. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. So, I don't understand how this game went from, like, pretty basic graphics to looking semi-decent. Oh. Well, hello there, Amanda. Well, what was his name? Gail? He ain't, he ain't as dumb as he sounds, I see, huh? Okay. 
I'm gonna play like this the whole game. <laughs> okay, what floor are we going to? Look at this. I haven't even pressed the damn floor. <laughs> Shit. Oh, God. All right, you know what? Y'all need to stop this. Okay, which door is gonna open? I wanna say this door is gonna open. Okay. So, first and foremost, I don't know where we live. Okay, this is our room. Oh. There's been a strange, or there's been strange things going on tonight. I must be tired. Gonna go to bed and get some sleep. Damn, I wonder what would have happened. I would have gone straight. Gail must be resting in his room. I shouldn't bother him right now. Bro, it's raining. It's dark. It's the perfect time to bother him. What are you talking about? I'm just kidding, okay? I'm just kidding. I don't know him. Listen to your mother. Okay. I think... The thing is, what what if my phone keeps going off and it's actually concerning me right now? All right, so it's August, two thousand nineteen. If this dude pops out in any of these corners, I swear to God, I'm gonna lose my shit. On the light, yep. Bathroom lights is out again. Okay. Yeah, these are some pretty impressive bedrooms. I'm gonna say, really nice. That's coffee. Now, our objective here is to get some sleep, correct? Go to sleep. Yes, it is. Let's just make sure that there's nothing else. Okay. We're gonna go to sleep. Part of me doesn't want to go to sleep. I don't want to go to sleep. I really don't want to go to sleep. But we gotta go to sleep! Phone's going off. 9, 12 p.m. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, can I put it down? Oh, what is going on? I don't like it when games do that. I'm oh, hi. Fuck. Gayo, if that's you, I swear to God. It's mom. Um, Amanda, I've been calling and texting you for two days, and you haven't answered. What? Okay, so actually it starts, that was Friday. This is Sunday. Amanda, are you coming home next weekend? Amanda, are you coming home next weekend? Amanda, I've been calling you and texting you for two days, and you haven't answered. I haven't heard anything from you for days. Where are you? Are you okay? Please call me. Mom, I already told you. It's fine. Okay. We're totally fine. Right, should I go back to sleep? Should we reply? Can I reply? I don't think so. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Gail? Is that you, bro? Sort of God. Oh, that door wasn't there before. What the? F okay, no, it was. I'm going crazy. Okay, I'm not gonna bother Gail. There's a letter on the ground. Gail, it's me, Martha, Amanda's mother. Do you know where Amanda is? She hasn't answered my phone calls for two days. Please, if you know anything, call me. Uh, okay, this is very fucking dark. Oh, God. Gail! Fuck! Whatever you're planning on doing, Gail, don't do it. Just, just don't do it. All right? Mm. Yep, there it is. This is like a horror version of The Time Traveler's Wife. I don't know if you've seen that movie, but it's one hell of a movie. If you want to cry, <laughs> I, I welcome you to watch it. It's pretty sad. And of course, it's the one, the only Rachel McAdams. That was her name, right? Fantastic actress. I do say so myself. Uh. Okay. What's going on here? 
Am I supposed to stop the clock? Okay. Oh! Whoa! What the freaking? Oh, I'm kind of cute. Damn. Damn, I'm pretty good. A missing person, Amanda Graham. Last seen outside Harvey University on August 23rd. Wearing a white tank top and jean shorts. Brown eyes, dark hair, 5'7", 120 pounds. Age 22. Alright. What is going on? This is trippy, dude. Is that it's not my mother is that me that's gotta be me i think gail killed me i think gail killed me hi flashlight fabulous just just when things couldn't get any worse Ooh. Missing student body found. Stabbed by roommate. Alleged killer turned himself into the police. Police searched for Amanda's whereabouts for two weeks. Amanda's roommate, 24-year-old Gail Rogers, was arrested after confessing to hiding the body. Body found in crawl space hidden behind a false wall inside closet inside closet of Mr. Rogers' room. Amy Holland, Amanda's close friend, informed Amanda and Gail were good friends. I was shocked. When I heard the news, Martha, Amanda's mother, expressed, I'm devastated I should have done something to avoid this. Now my baby is gone. Police found no previous convictions of Roger's records. Roger was charged with murder and hiding corpses for which he will be faced in court soon. Fuck. Oh, God. And let me guess. We are here to experience the murder. Why doesn't my flash... <laughs> Alright, Gail, you need to open up the fucking door. Gail! Nah. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, who are you? Oh, that was good. Oh, God. My ass. That was good. That was good. Okay. Hold on. <sighs> Gail, listen here, man. L listen here, Gail, please. Just oh, fuck. Gail. Gail, Gail. Oh, hi, Gail. <laughs> Wait, this is not Gail's room. This is something else, okay? This is the recipe for disaster right here. This is the fucking hallway. No fates. Oh my god, I hate this. Okay. This is, this is right here. Never trust a random roommate. I don't know how you people go into roommates with people you don't even know. Who does that? Huh? You think the college life is fun? Oh, hi. <laughs> it's fun. It's very fun. But only in movies. Not in real life. Oh, hi. What the shit? In loving memory? <laughs> oh. Oh. Bro, this game is actually pretty legit. I'm not even gonna lie. This game is pretty damn legit. I'm gonna go all the way to the end. Oh, God. Alright, let's go in here. Nah, bro, you need to chill. 
Oh my god. That's me. Hey, it's me! It's myself! Ah! Motherfuck. Alright, so we got two blood stains. That means we've got another, what, ten doors to go through. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> We're about to find out how we died. This is really interesting, by the way. Gail Rogers sentenced to 25 years in prison. That motherfucker's gonna get out when he is 59 years old. What an idiot. Police guilty to murder. Police found Rogers writings raging about society and loneliness. Prosecutor said he was a romantically obsessed with Amanda. It always starts with love and it ends with death. Okay. Let's not do anything stupid. That door didn't give much. No fates. Okay. We'll keep going. All right. Nothing either. What is going on here? Is that him? Gail, you are very, very masculine, I must say. I need you to be a bit more, uh... Oh, God, Gail, who the f Oh, Gail. Are you okay, Gail? Gail? Ah, you're okay! Oh! They just put that man behind me. This was, this game was two ninety nine, bro. Listen, if throughout that's history, people have experienced the supernatural event of a time slip. What is a time slip? A time slip is when a person or group of people travel back in time through supernatural ways, not technological like a time machine. This happens because time is not linear or fixed as we perceive it. Time is fluid but exists within a context of a single point of space. In the year of 1996 in Liverpool, Frank was shopping with his wife and they decided to split up. Frank went to the record store and she went to Dylan's bookshop. As he walks towards the store, a 1950s van with the name Kaplan's on the side crossed in front of him. He saw that Dylan's bookstore now had a Crips signage. The shop was selling women's purses and shoes instead of books. He looked around and everyone around him were all dressed in the fashions from the 1950s, but bizarrely, a young woman walked past him with a popular purse from the 90s, which reassured him that he was somewhat still in 1996. Frank followed that woman into the store and the store turns back into a bookstore. She told Frank she too had thought the store was a clothes shop. It was later proven that Crips and Kaplan's were actual local businesses from Liverpool during the 50s. Frank did not only travel back in time, he was standing right between both 1950s and 1996. These experiences are real. The universe works in mysterious and inexplicable ways. However, the true cause of time slips remains unknown. All right. That's fucking interesting. And I feel like watching, uh, I feel like watching Back to the Future. I really do. I don't know, that was super random, I know, I'm sorry. I just, I'm just saying, oh. Another poster, newspaper. Stop the madness.
I had a little bit of goosebumps just kind of travel like from the middle of my body all the way to the, my like the tip of my hands and toes I had to kind of thank the Lord Jesus Christ that I didn't uh, really jump scare there I was good Bro, I have a feeling this dude's gonna be behind me man somebody's gonna be behind me when I turn around and I ain't having it bro No fate. I feel like the game wants me to go here. back at home what was it all just a nightmare <clears throat> oh what this is not over my parents house oh god listen Amanda I just need you to get the hell out of here okay we're not wanted here if that door behind me closes then we know we are fucked okay Seriously? Oh god, here we go again. Fabulous. Whoa. What? Bro, this is trippy, man. Amanda? More doors, are you kidding me? No, don't. Ah! Fucking Gale, man, I swear to God. Hmm. The doctor has told me that I'm writing my th that writing my thoughts is a uh, therapeutic and might help me with trauma. How much more can I handle after losing my daughter to a murderer? We're playing with the mom now. Which itself is a horrible tragedy. My husband has been very absent. Our daughter's death has been devastating to him and understandably so. I myself feel devastated too. However, I try to move forward in life with him and my son Dylan. Of course, the death of his sister has also affected Dylan gravely. Especially for a young 18 year old boy. But at least I still feel he is around me. Unlike my husband, he tries his hardest to give emotional support to his family. Still, my son's behavior has also changed. I quite don't know how to put it into something about him. Seems very different. Oh, so now that's not that's not Gale. That's my that's my son. So we went from the daughter dying to the roommate to now the mother dying to her son. Is that what's happening here? <laughs> Listen, you ain't got to tell me twice. I'm out this bitch. Okay, I am out. Just say the word. Open the door. And let's just get out of here. Maybe if we go to the kitchen, and get a knife. No, no knife. Oh, well, that's very unfortunate. God knows I need a knife. I'll go back into the bathroom. God, come on. Can we just make this end already? All right, who's playing mind games? All right, we got the point. All right, I'm gonna go, oh, there's another letter here. 
I had feared my husband could be back to alcohol addiction. Aside from being absent in our family's life, now he seems to be drawing his sorrows with alcohol like he once used to. The once old habit, which uh, he had overcome a long time ago, a few years after our marriage, now has creeped in again. His family always had a history of depression, alcohol addiction, and other mental illness. Mental illness. I'm really worried for him. I do not know what to do. He barely talks to me, and when we do, it's just arguing. We argue about what happened to Amanda. He gets mad at me because... He thinks I'm insane. He doesn't believe me when I say, when I say something about our daughter's murder wasn't right. I know that somehow she knew she was in trouble. We could have done something to stop it. Yeah, you, that's actually very bad parenting, to be honest. Oh, hi. So today I found out that my son is doing drugs. I think that Gale, that Gale monster has not, uh, not only killed our daughter, but killed each of uh, one of us. Amanda's death has left a turmoil in the family and I don't know what to do. Unfortunately, my son has lots of his, uh, my son has a lot of his father in him. I tried talking about it with him, but he just won't. How much more can I handle myself? I myself have been depressed ever since Amanda died, but I'm not one to channel the depression into substance abuse. That's just not the way I will start to confront things. Life, my house. I try to keep it in faith in God, and uh, I find peace within Him. I'm the only one here trying to keep this family together from breaking apart. Wait, this is my mom. Why do I have the same clothes on? This is kind of fucking sketchy. What is going on here? I need to really stop with this. <laughs> okay. Who puts a frame, a picture in a frame of... What? Okay, here we go. Another letter. I sometimes uh, go to find Amanda's room and try to find some comfort. Being in her room reminds me of her. I almost feel like she's around me. Few days ago, I swear I saw a figure that looked like Amanda walking down the hall. I also hear mysterious footsteps around the house when I'm alone. It has to be her. Her spirit is following me. Oh, fuck. Bro, I swear to God, if this was actually dark, like this area here, it'd be much scarier. It's, it's scary. It really is. Like, I'm saying that because I'm getting creeped out and it's not even dark outside. This is Amanda's room. Oh, God. Oh. Hi right there. I spoke to my husband about the day I saw Amanda, and of course he thinks I'm insane and delusional. He immediately dismisses any conversation related to Amanda. He is afraid to confront anything related to her. Almost like he wants to forget about her entirely. We've seen this how uh, we've been discussing divorce. He says uh being around the house makes him more depressed. He rented an apartment for himself and I barely see him or talk to him. How much more can I handle of any of this? My boy Dylan also barely is barely around. His drug addiction has taken a toll on him. And somebody's behind me. Now, good, 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 good. Well, this is some really fancy rooms, man. I, I like this. Really nice. All right. Hey, mm -hmm. right. what's up, guys? <laughs> the whole gang is here. I gotta find a way to get out. Well, this is longer than I thought, dude. What? Oh, God, I spoke too soon, didn't I? I said if it was actually dark in here, it'd be scarier. Morning after pills? What is that? Uh, birth control. Oh, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be birth control. It could be anything. Oh, we've got a key. And now it's dark. That's just fucking great. I literally said it'd be scarier if it was dark. When I said that, I didn't mean I wanted it to be dark. My boy, we gotta go. No, no. Oh, 
Oh, this is just great. Now I got to find a key in every single room to be able to get out of here. This is absolutely insane. Open up, open up. Oh, God. Oh, don't be, don't be like that. Come on. Oh, that's a lot of reading. Stop the madness. Stop the madness. Alright, we got this. We're gonna go straight ahead. Everything's gonna be okay. Yes. Oh. Father murdered? Father of murdered. Roommate commits suicide. Arthur. What? Wow. And we dreamt all of this. <laughs> no, wait. This might be the brother now. <laughs> For all I know. Amanda, can you read my text? Yes, what's wrong? I cannot believe... I cannot believe it. This is unreal. It's really you, Amanda. What's going on? You were gone. I thought I would never speak to you again. Christ, I was at your funeral, but I finally found you. I cannot believe I'm speaking to you. Well, that's kind of weird. Why? Why would you text us if we were dead? Thank you for playing. Goes to tomorrow, chapter one. Okay, so I'll be honest. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was actually pretty freaking good. The story was very, very interesting. A little bit of a strange ending, but then again, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It goes with the plot. It was some sort of like, ta ta I don't want to say time traveling because in reality, I mean, maybe it is time traveling. But um, it seemed like we're still dead, you know, like according to the mom, we were still dead and everything that happened happened. But then we're back now. We're alive unless that was us time traveling again. Kind of strange. But um, the game did have some pretty effective jump scares, some pretty effective uh, moments where it wasn't just about the jump scare, but the overall vibe of it, which was very effective. And it, it was just the perfect length. It wasn't like too short or too long. I think like the 30 minute mark is perfect. And um, I think there's going to be more chapters, or at least uh, at least that's the plan. I don't know if we need another chapter of that. But um, if it's another story, like something completely different, different character, different plot entirely, then for sure. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you later.